Hello, gamer Nom is back. So yesterday, I posted this one in my community tab. Best fight style in Blast Fruits. Here are your votes. And to help you decide, I will defeat Indra using all fight styles in Blast Fruits. So before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Gwen, the Ector, slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, so for our first fight style, we're going to use the Dark Step. For those who don't know, you can buy this for only 150,000 in the Pirate Village and it has 4 skills. The Kicks Combo, Breakdance, Barrage, and Devil. But the most important thing in defeating a boss is your M1 or your left clicks. Sadly, Dark Steps M1 is slow and it does not push your enemy back. Which means if you try defeating him face to face, this will happen to you. No! No! So to be able to defeat Indra, using this fight style, we're gonna do the wall strat or the post strat to regain some of our HP. Guys, just a reminder, I'm using Buddha with gold mask and V3 gold rays. Gamer Nom, can't you defeat Indra with just using fight style? I don't know if it is possible. If you can do it, please do help me and comment it on the comment section so I can try it. Our next fight style is the upgraded version of the Dark Step. Yes guys, the death step, just like the dark step, it has 4 skills but guys, comparing it to the previous fight style, guys, this is OP compared to that. So we have the rocket kick, wind bullet, and the very good vermilion drill as long as you hold your C skill. Gamer Gnome, how about the M1 or the left clicks? Guys, that step has one of the fastest M1 in the game. So guys, how do you get it? You need to get the library key from the Awakened Ice Admiral. There you go. And after getting the key, open the library, give it to Foyu, and you need 2,500,000 bellies, 5,000 fragments, and 400 mastery on your dark step. Okay guys, for the M1, you will be able to push back your enemy, which means you can defeat him face to face. Guys, I'm gonna show you total damage combo that we will inflict on Indra. Can you guess? Is it 300,000? 400? 500? Or if you guess 600,000 guys, you're correct. So if you can do that, comment in the comment section. So guys, what's your highest combo ever inflicted in a boss? Do you think that step is the best fight style after watching this? Share your thoughts by commenting it in the comment section. Next fight style is the electric fight style. So guys, you can buy it for 500,000 in the Skylands. So Gamer Nom, is this a good fight style? Comparing it to the dark step, yes, it has three skills. The Stomp, Electric Tackle, and the Electric Floor. For the M1, yes, it is faster compared to the Dark Step, which is really good. But it lacks the knockback effect. And to make things easier, just use the Post or the Wall Strat. For the highest combo inflicted with this fight style, we reach 213,000. I know what you're thinking. Electric Loss is a lot better. But my question is, is it better compared to the Dead Step? Now you're about to find out. So next up, the Electric Claw. Just like the electric fight style, it has only 3 skills, but the M1 guys, it's so fast. I mean, one of the fastest M1 in the game. I don't know if this is faster compared to Superhuman. Gamer Gnome, how do you get this fight style? Guys, you can get it in the Floating Turtle, look for previous hero, and you need to finish his quest. You need to go to the mansion in less than 30 seconds. I suggest you use a door fruit, and after that, you will just go back to him. You need to pay him 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Also, Electric Fight Style should have 400 mastery. But Gamer Nom, is it worth it? Yes. Check this out. We are standing in front of Indra, just doing left clicks and some skills. And my favorite one is when you do your C skill, he will go up, right? Jump while doing M1 and it's like you're doing aerial combo. Check that out, guys. It's really cool. <laughs> It's like you're doing aerial combo. Check that out guys, it's really cool. <laughs> now let's compare, which one's better? Is it the death step or the electric claw? For me, I think they're equal. Oh guys, we got the dark dagger! So I don't know if, if this sword is or knife is really good. Comment it in the comment section. <laughs> okay, next up, the water kung fu. Among the three V1 fight styles, this one has enough back. Check that out, which is really good. It has 3 skills, and you can buy this in the underwater city for 750,000 bellies. Gamer Nom, is there a strategy which will make things easier? Yes, you can do wall strat here. There you go, in the entrance. 
So as you can see, we're just doing wall strat. As I don't suggest you fighting Indra using any V1. Yes, V1 fight style. But if you want, there are two ways to defeat him. Wall strat and this one, the Q strat. So you're gonna dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack. So as you can see, you can dodge most of his skills even though you're not using your observation hockey. This strategy applies to almost all V1 fight styles. But why would you make things harder for you, right? Next fight style is the V2 version of the Water Kung Fu, the Sharkman Karate. So for those who voted, guys, there are lots of followers in the Twitter account that voted Fishman Karate. I mean Sharkman Karate. So here it is. M1, it's really fast. For some reason, I wasn't able to knock back Indra that much, so I don't suggest it defeating face to face. It has three skills that is good for combo, but not for this boss, because you will knock him back using your skills, and he will have a chance to damage you using his own skills. Okay, so among the three V2, I mean four V2 skills, this is not the best one. I think this is the worst one. So, if you agree, comment it in the comment section. And if you don't agree, it's fine, okay? So Gamer Gnome, I love the Sharkman Karate. How do I get this fight style? You need to earn or get the key, yes, from, uh, what do you call this? Tide Keeper. Give it to Dygrock, Water Gang, and you need 2,500,000 bellies in 500 fragments. Oh, sorry, 5,000 fragments. Again, 5,000 fragments. Also, 400 mastery on the Water Kung Fu, and that's it. Oh, and by the way, guys, do you know that Indra has two lives? Yeah, just for those who want to defeat him, check that out. For the first HP, if he reaches like 25%, he will unleash his true form and one skill will be added to his arsenal. For the total combo, we only reach 130,000 with this fight style. I think it's not the fight style, it's on me. <laughs> okay, so after defeating Indra, for our next fight style, we got the Dragon Breath. You can get this fight style in the second C. Look for Sabi NPC and buy it for 1,500 fragments. During my recording session, there is a problem with our internet connection, which resulted to lots of damage. So I'm afraid that I will be defeated by this, so I resorted to doing a wall strat. But when I regained enough HP, I decided to defeat him. So guys, good thing with this Dragon Breath, it is a knockback. So as you can see, I am just facing him using my M1 or left clicks. Guys, do you agree with me? This is the best B1 fight style with the Buddha fruit when defeating bosses. If you agree, comment it in the comment section. If not, it's fine. Comment it too. Okay, next up, the V2 version of the Dragon Breath, the Dragon Talon. So for me, this is one of the best fruits for doing raids. Raids, okay guys? Not fighting bosses because the, the M1 or left click of this fight style is kind of slow. But it has knockback which is good. Same with the Dragon Breath. There you go. On unlocking this fight style guys, it's kind of hard. You really need to be lucky. You need lots of bones. But if you're lucky like me, I was able to get it on my first spin. There you go, Fire Essence. Give it to Yuzoth. You need to pay him 3 million fragments. Oh sorry, 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Also, 400 mastery on the Dragon Breath. For our highest combo, we were able to reach 200,000 plus. To be exact, 250,000. A suggestion to the developers, if ever we uh, get another drop that we already have, we should get a reward. Maybe something like fragments or bellies, right? Next fight style is voted by you. The best fight style in Blast Fruits, and that is the superhuman fight style. So let's check it out. So this fight style has only 3 skills. But this is really good for single target enemies, especially the first skill. There you go. But uh, it will mostly knock back your enemy. Okay, so how do you get it? You need 300 mastery on all 4 V1 fight styles. Dark Step, Electric, Water Kung Fu, and Dragon Breath. And also you need 3 million bellies to pay the NPC. Guys, the M1 of this fight style is really fast. I mean, really fast, guys. Can you guess how much combo damage are we able to inflict on Indra just by using our M1? Because it's really high, as you can see. We are now reaching 300,000. Can we reach 400,000? Yes. 500,000. Yes, guys. We are able to reach 600,000 combo 
and yes, you can defeat him face to face. So guys, what do you think? What is the best fight style in Blast Fruits? Comment it again in the comment section. But Gamer no, you forgot the combat. Yes guys, don't worry about this. I will have a separate video of this. I will be defeating all bosses using combat style, so watch out for that. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.